So we're still in Romans chapter 8 and we have arrived at the topic of discussion for this series which is the king in you and we have reached part 2 joint hairs. So Romans chapter 8 verse 15 goes, For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then hears, hears of God, and joint hears with Christ. And if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So when we become believers in Christ, we are through the adoption of realizing that the Eternal Father is so close to us that we can call him Abba Father, which is the closest derivative in the pronunciation in the Hebrew to call a father by the dearest way. And so we have been adopted into a godly kingdom and we have become godly people. But even more importantly, when we believe in Christ, who is the heir to the kingdom, seated now on the right hand of the Father, we will become joint heirs, both as children of God and as heirs to the kingdom through Jesus Christ. But it gets even more interesting because just how Christ suffered and he went through his challenges while he was here on earth and through his passion, he was beaten and he was scourged and he eventually was crucified for you and for me. We ourselves, when we go through our challenges, must realize that eventually we will be glorified just like he is, risen on the third day and defeating hell, death, and the grave. And now the devil really has no say because there is now a king in you and in me. For those who believe in Christ, we become heirs to that godly kingdom. And that is the beauty. Yes, we will go through the challenges that we have to face, but we will eventually, in the end, be glorified with him who is above every name.